So before we pack up our stuff this morning, we're gonna go have a look at Waterfall Bluff. Glorious morning. Looking back towards Waterfall Bay. We're heading down that coastline and there's Cape Hoy in the distance. So this is where the creek goes over the cliff and down into the sea. Alright, we're leaving a little later than anticipated but there's still plenty of time remaining in the day. No more trees, so looks like we may well be approaching the top of the climb. There's Cape Hoy, uh, Cape Pillar off in the distance, and Fortescue Bay, Mount Fortescue behind it. That's Hippolyte Rock out there. And if you can hear a jet boat, that's the Rob Pennicott Cruise is coming past us just at the moment. Cape Hoy back in view. So a quick little detour off the track gets us to this amazing viewing spot. So a few minutes ago we just uh, had a stop for lunch at that uh, viewing spot. Shouldn't be too much further to Bivouac Bay. I think we estimated about 3 to 4 k's looking at the map. There's actually been heaps of these rock ledges alongside this track where you just walk across onto them and get really good views. So we made a 180 degree turn a few minutes ago and we're now heading into Bivouac Bay where the campsite is located. And this is the campsite. A lot larger than Camp Falls, that's for sure. So we've set up the tents, and now we're gonna go down to Fortescue Bay. The 
the suspension bridge at Canoe Bay. And we're here at Fortescue Bay, where uh, quite high tide actually. Very different conditions to the start of the day. We felt a few drops of rain here at Fortescue in the middle of our cricket game. We're walking back to Bivouac Bay and we're nearly there, about 10 minutes away and it's just started getting really heavy, the rain. It's getting dinner happening, the rain is past, thank goodness. Alright, that is the end of day two. Today we started at Camp Falls and finished here at Bivouac Bay while heading off down to Fortescue Bay. It was a really good day, the sea cliffs are a highlight. The downpour of rain for about 10 minutes or so, maybe not so much, but still overall, fantastic day. Tomorrow we're going back to Tasman Arch by, by the way we came. Hopefully pick up some fish and chips there as well, which I'm looking forward to.